Hello viewers, welcome back. Today I will show you how to extract a sketch from one model and use it in another model. You will find this super useful since recreating a sketch you built painstakingly in one of your prior models is really annoying and a waste of time. And reuse sketch location could be same as the original model sketch location or could be anywhere in the new model. In one of my prior videos, I have shown you how to reuse a sketch within a model. But this video is all about using the same sketch in any other model. And this is simple to do. Okay, let's get going. So first thing is I want to start or open a file I created earlier, so I created this model. Let's open it and see. So um, <clears throat> this is a pretty simple model I created and it has a, a sketch attached to it. So I can activate the sketch by pressing the space bar. So uh, you can see the sketch here. So we're going to go to uh, this sketch and open up and see what it what's in it. So it's a pretty simple sketch. I have few uh, slots added and it is fully constrained. Uh, and you can also see that when I close out and I can go to the origin of the part or the coordinate system of the part. I make it active by pressing the space bar key. And I you can see that this sketch lies on the x y plane okay so you can keep that in mind okay this this is lying on the x y plane and uh, so that's how i created so and then uh, uh, now what we want to do is take this sketch from this model and copy it and import to a another model and do a, a operation okay so uh, let's start a new model so now this is uh, the new model now you can see that it is showing up here uh, so uh, don't get confused by the appearance here, yeah, you think that it might be the same, you know, tab in the same model. It is not. So this is a separate model or a separate file. This is uh, the new one I created. Okay, rename this guy so you can rename this file to let's say FreeCAD Part Two. Now, if you go to this one, you have the sketch. So what I do is I just right click on this and try to copy it. Now, of course, you, you can't do that. In, you, in order for you to do that, you have to go to this part design workbench and let's see whether I can do the copying there. Yes, you can copy once you are in this part design workbench because that's where I created this sketch is. So let's say I copy it. Now you get options. You can copy the sketch. You can copy the XY plane to go along with that. You can do that, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to skip out of that. I just need the sketch. I don't need the XY plane. Okay. So I'm going to say yes. Now I'm going to go to the next part or the part two, which is a different file completely, different model. Now, in order for me to create a sketch here, I need to have a, a body. So I'm going to create this body. Now this body is active. So we, when you see this green color, that means it's active. Now I have, you know, gone into my preferences and set it up that way to make it uh, act, uh, to display it as a green box when the part is active okay now i all i need to do is to 
copy this into this body so i can let's see whether i can uh, right click and do that so it's pretty easy so you can do right click and paste it now the sketch is pasted here okay now it what it did was it uh, if i make this guy active by pressing the space bar it put the sketch in the same location and the same plane okay now let's see whether i can do uh, i can go in actually into the sketch and i can see that everything is there okay all the uh, dimensions and it's fully constrained so if i want to change it let's say i want to change this to 50 millimeters so i can change that okay so i can do anything i want this is fully independent sketch okay even though it's a copy from the previous model okay now if i try to pad it what happens so i get this message can is cannot use selected object selected object must belong to an active body consider using shape binder or base feature to reference the external geometry in the body okay now i don't need to do all that use the shape bind and all that stuff i don't need to do that what i need to do is i need to go and drag and drop this one here now why did i get that message because this sketch is not really inside this body it is in this model but it's not inside the body so what i do is i go and say i go and drag it and drop it here now that sketch is inside this body it belongs to that body now so what i can do is i just pad it so i can say 20 mils the previous model was like 10 mils uh, i made it to 20 uh, and now you have the same sketch from a different file or different model being reused in a new model okay okay let's dig a little bit deeper here what if i want to get this sketch copy to another model in an arbitrary plane or maybe like a xz plane or in an arbitrary location or even to a, a face of a body so that's kind of a typical situation you will face in a CAD where you have a existing sketch you want to reuse it in a different model on a different uh, uh, location or a different uh, face okay so let's try to do that let's go back to this uh, part two now i deleted everything there so i'm going to recreate some simple geometry here let's go to this time i'm going to pick the xz plane and maybe create a rectangle here uh, put some dimensions uh, okay let's make it a little bit smaller now i'm creating this in an arbitrary location okay to in order to demonstrate Now I have, I'm not going to uh, constrain it. You can if you want to, but you know this is just a demo tutorial to demonstrate this uh, reuse of the sketch. So I'm going to pad this guy. Let's say make it 20 mils. Okay. So now um, not only I'm going to keep this in the XZ plane, I'm going to transport this guy to different location okay now uh, come back to this model let's copy this sketch um, well, I don't need the XC plane go back here so this is a completely different model pick the body I'm going to say paste so this is now directly paved maybe i just drag and drop it make sure that is inside this now you can see it's in a you know this is in a different plane altogether different location now 
of course i can show that by activating the coordinate system so now yeah it's in a different location and different plane from this body okay now how do i get this guy to attach somewhere here in this phase okay now in the uh, sketch you have an attachment editor okay you can reuse that or you can use that to get to where you want it okay now this is xy plane that's where it was so let's make and select this phase now when you do that you can see the body just turn but it is not in this phase okay it's in the xc plane but it's not in the phase because there are a couple of things you have to do to get it to work so you have to do give you another reference okay i'm going to say inertia 2 uh, and now it's in the same plane okay or same phase i would say okay now there are some more options you can use to get it to you know the orientation you want this guy okay now i can move this guy around uh, by picking you know these coordinates now this is you know this this isn't the local coordinate so this thing this cage is still in its local coordinate system that's why when i you know press or try to move it in the x direction it's word moving vertically but that's fine what we need to do is to bring it down here and maybe you know arbitrarily location where you want it. now of course you can turn you know rotate this guy too uh, you might have to figure it out which axis because this is right now is in its local coordinate system so let's see if i because this z is actually uh, out of this plane here uh, in the in its local coordinate system so let's see if i uh, put like 180 and see what happens uh, okay it didn't do what i want it so maybe i go back and make it 90. okay so it rotated it. now you have to go back and reposition it where you want it okay so it's a little bit of a tedious process but you can do it okay where you want it exactly okay now it's in let's say this is where i want this one so i escape out of it now i recompute this guy and i can use this sketch to do some operations for this body okay let's see i want to slot this guy reverse yes so now get it out so now what i did was here let me switch this guy off by pressing space bar so what i did was i bought a sketch from a completely different model and bought it back into a new model and attach it to a face and did an operation and that that is what you have done is you basically you have reused a sketch in a from a different model okay so that's the tutorial i hope you learn something new here and please uh, subscribe and give a thumbs up uh, that really help the channel to grow and thank you and we'll see you again in another tutorial